Hey guys, this is a real quick video to show you how you can get rid of the annoying, ugly stickers that come on all new bikes. Now, you want to leave some on, you want to take some off. The ones you want to take off are just the big old warnings that you usually see up here on the tank. Leave the ones that are on the frame that have important information like tire pressures or anything about the VIN. Those are more for safety and information and you need those and more importantly the next owner is going to want those too but you can take off anything up here this is warnings about the tank and emissions and what fuel to use stuff that's also in the owner's manual and you don't need to be looking at it all day so what we have to do is melt the adhesive there are two types of stickers that are used some are basically plastic and they're going to peel up in one piece no problemo some are more like laminated paper and even using good heat and melting what adhesive we can, they're probably gonna come up in stages. There's really no telling what you have until you start into it. So, to heat up the adhesive, you can do it one of two ways. You can use a hair dryer on high heat, and you can get pretty much as close as you want to with that. You're not gonna damage anything from a hair dryer. But by far the better option is to use a heat gun. If you use a heat gun, it's gonna go very quickly, however, you do have to do two things. Make sure it's on low heat, because it's even going to be on low heat, very, very hot. And you need to keep it away from the sticker. Keep it at least a foot away. Don't keep it one spot. It's only going to take maybe half a minute or a minute to get this piping hot, and it shouldn't be too hot to touch. If it is, you know you're doing it too much. And then we'll be able to peel it back from a corner. Now, like I said, some stickers, they're going to come up no problem, and you can probably just pick it with your fingernail. For others, you may have an issue. I suggest using a spudger. This is a plastic tool just for separating parts without damaging them. It's a very soft plastic. You're not gonna damage the paint with the edge of this. You can get these online. Uh, this is, I think, from iFixit for doing phone work, but it's very common in computer parts repairs, uh, computer tool kits, phone repair kits, that kind of thing. I think you can also get them at Best Buy, of course, Amazon and whatnot also. But try your fingernail first, usually it'll just come up. So we're gonna kick the heat gun on low. That's low, that's high. If you're not sure, test it, but be careful because these things really do get hot. So now we're gonna heat it up and it's only gonna take, like I said, maybe a minute. And then feel it, start to peel it. It should come up. starting to come up. And by the way, do not put the heat gun on while your fingers are in the way when you're starting to peel it. If it starts to snag, stop and heat it up again. It should come up very easily. If you see it starting to separate, stop and heat it up again. This isn't necessarily going to go in one pull. It's perfectly fine if you have to do it multiple times. This is coming up pretty easily and don't worry about any residue that you see. Pretty much all of them are going to leave some. We'll take care of that after. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Now to clean up this excess glue, and we'll be all set to put a nice finish on the bike. I'm gonna, of course, clay bar it, do a full wax and polish. You can see my video on doing that to really bring out the shine in any bike, especially from the showroom. This is right off the showroom, brand new, and there's lots of imperfections in this paint. Every single vehicle coming from a paint booth is full of them. You can't get around it. All right, let's take care of this glue. To tackle the glue, you need a clean cloth. You can use a teared cloth or a microfiber. Both work just as well. Just make sure there's absolutely nothing on them because that will turn it into abrasive and you'll put some scratches on your bike. Now, as far as chemicals to get this off, some people's weapon of choice is WD-40. I find it works okay, but it tends to take a while. I prefer Goo Gone. Works absolutely wonderfully. Both are dirt cheap and you can find it just about anywhere. So what you want to do is saturate an area of your cloth. And this may take a few minutes and a few different applications. What you want to do is get the area really wet. Let it sit and soak in and penetrate that glue. Let it sit for a few minutes. It'll really soften it up. And then we can come back 
and wipe it off. So after a few minutes here it's penetrated as much as it's going to get. Really saturate your rag. And just start swirling around. The adhesive should come right up. Flip it around if it gets too gunky. And eventually when you don't feel the rag pulling anymore it will be free. Now this particular microfiber cloth is a little soft. The tighter the weave, the easier this gets. I'm going to switch over here to the terry cloth just at the end. So I find it does a much better job for a final cleanup. Hey now. <laughs> Got a little excited. And there we go. Spotless like it was never there. Now I can do my detail. And that's all there is to removing decals from your bike. See ya!